welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica and on today's video, uh, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Primarily what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do a look using the Graveyard Girl, the Swamp Queen Tarte Palette. I think this is over a year old. That's okay. I just got it. And uh, this is what it looks like. If you haven't seen it a million times before, it has nine shadows and then it has a a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter in it. So I'm gonna try to do a complete look almost my entire face using just this palette. I have just about five other products that I'm gonna use other than this palette today. So I'm gonna do most of it using just this one palette. And then I just have like my foundation, I have some concealer, some primers, mascara, eyeliner, and lipstick. Everything else I'm going to be using in this one palette. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I have my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm going to use this first. I'm going to put this all over my skin. I have a lot of this primer. Uh, I have several of these mini ones. And then I also have, I think, uh, one full-size one that I actually bought. Um, Alta, I think, was running a special. And I bought a jumbo size of that primer. Uh, it's not my favorite primer, but it's definitely easy to use and it does have a tendency to work. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't, uh, I know some people say, say that they really love it. This is their holy grail primer. Um, I have some large pores on my nose and I have other primers that I like better for my nose. But anyway, we're gonna start with that. Next, I'm gonna be using just a powder foundation today. I'm not gonna be using a liquid. I'm gonna be using the IT Celebration Foundation Illumination, and it is in the color Fair. So there it is. Um, I tried to use this in my all one brand tutorial for IT Cosmetics, and it just ended up making my face pretty heavy with the CC cream that I used. So I wanted to use this foundation by itself and uh, see what it looks like. So I've got my foundation and I am just using the Ulta Angled Foundation Brush and I'm gonna go ahead and get this buffed into my skin. Okay, so I did forget to put my uh, concealer on underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation and finish it off. Um, I am using my Tarte Shape Tape. This in the, is in the color Light. This pretty much matches my skin tone pretty well. I also have this in a lighter shade if I'm trying to highlight with it. Um, right now I'm just trying to cover the circles underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. Just underneath my eyes there. Okay, I'm just gonna get this. And I know, don't yell at me, I know I'm supposed to put uh, liquids on before powder, I just forgot to do it. So I'm doing it now because I didn't feel like that foundation was really covering my under eyes very well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I have the Filter Finish Setting Powder from Laura Geller. I'm gonna use this just to set the under eyes. I'm not baking, I'm just setting that shape tape because it always creases on me. Now I'm gonna go back in and finish off with my foundation. I feel like I'm very illuminated right now. I just feel like I'm shining. I don't, I mean, it is illumination foundation, so it's fine. Uh, it's just a little bit brighter illuminated than I normally like to wear my foundation, but that's okay. All right, so I have foundation. I have my concealer on. I'm gonna go ahead and move into my eyes. I do have the Urban Decay. This is the eyeshadow primer potion. I'm gonna put this on my eyelids and then I'm gonna move into my eye look. 
All right, I am all primed up. I'm gonna go ahead and move into my eye look. Now, um, there's a lot of interesting colors in this palette. Um, I really like this one here, which is called Sippy Sippy, but I'm not gonna use that today. I'm actually gonna stick to the bottom or in this configuration, the top row of the eyeshadows. Um, they're more of like a purpley color, so I'm going to stick with that today. I'm going to go ahead and use the little brush that came with the eyeshadow, and I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to put down a layer of a um, of the, the natural peaches color here, which is just a neutral shade, and this is probably not the right brush to do this with. I'm going to get a blender brush here in one second. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. Okay, here we go. I got a blender brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of this uh, all over the lid. It's probably a little bit darker than I needed, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to next go into the dark purple color, which is called Man Cat. It's this one here at the top, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm just going to use the same brush because I'm not going back into a lighter color with this brush. So we'll just start there, and this is more pigmented than I thought it would be. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and get the color Uncommon, which is the middle color here. It's a lighter purple, but not quite the lightest. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. All right, I'm going to go in with a, another, another brush, and I'm going to take the color Haunting, which is the lightest purple color here, and I'm going to pack that just on the lid itself and see how that does. All right, well, I feel like all those colors just mixed together and just made one like brownish color. I don't even feel like that's purple. That's really weird, right? Like I don't even feel like I need to use a blender brush because it just blended all together. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color Sassy Bun. I'm gonna just take the brush that came with it and take the golden color here, Sassy Bun, in the middle, and I'm gonna pack that on my lid and see if that lightens it up at all. Because right now I feel like it is just... I just feel like this is all brown. And that's fine, it's just not the look I was going for. Okay, I give up. <laughs> That's my eye look. Uh, it's not what I was going for. I was going for purples and all I see is brown. So if you can see the purple, let me know because all I see is brown. I don't know what I did wrong. I literally used these three colors here at the top and then a little bit of the golden color here in the middle, but it just came out brown. Like I, all I see is brown. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to move ahead and go on. I'm going to use the color Sweet Tea, which is the bronzing contour color here. I'm going to be using my Sigma F40, the large angled contour brush. And I'm just going to get, this is very powdery. I'm just going to get some of that on my brush. And I feel like it just all came off. blush color which is does this thing really work right here and I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for the contour so that's very pigmented I feel like I got too much blush on my cheeks but moving on I'm gonna go into the highlight color which is gator wings. So I'm just going to use a little fan brush here and I'm going to put some highlighter on. That highlighter is almost all glitter. <laughs> 
Um, it's, it's very, very, very glittery. And I don't feel like I'm getting any... Like, I'm getting it on the brush. I don't know if it's going to pick that up or not. But it's definitely getting picked up on the brush. But then when I try to put it on my skin, I just don't feel like I'm getting anything on my skin. Because it's like all glitter. Which some people might like. It's just not usually a look that I go for. Okay, so that is my first time using this palette. I'm going to put it aside. I'm done with it. Um, I love the Graveyard Girl. Uh, I just love her. I think she's hilarious. I watch almost every single video that she puts up. This palette, though, I'm not so sure about. My first time using it, I'm not so sure about it. So, it's not bad. It just didn't quite work the way I expected it to. And that's fine. Uh, I've seen other videos with people using it, and it seems to be hit or miss. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, it's all right. Not my favorite. Not the worst palette I've ever used. All right, I'm gonna go ahead into my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on my eyes. I am using the Benefit Roller Lash, which is honestly my favorite mascara I have used to date. Uh, and I've used a bunch of different ones, and I will continue to use a bunch of different ones. But this is my absolute favorite one. If I said I had a holy grail in anything, in anything at all, any, any beauty product at all, it would be the Roller Lash. Um, before I started on my Epic Beauty Fail video, or uh, my Epic Beauty Fail journey, um, all I ever really used to wear was mascara. And... Pretty much I'd go to the drugstore and buy whatever was on sale. And now if I had to only own one mascara, it would be this one. Okay, now on to the last two things that I'm going to put on. I'm going to be putting on some eyeliner and then I'm going to be putting on some lipstick. And the eyeliner that I'm going to be using today I have never used before. This is the Sigma Pink Power Liner. You'll see where I'm going with this in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on just the upper eyelids. Alright, so there's my eyeliner and I have one final step, uh, two final steps actually. I'm going to go ahead and use lipstick. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Wednesday. And fun fact, if you are not aware, I do have two dogs and one of my dog's names is in fact Wednesday. Just a fun fact. So it's not quite as bright pink as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a little bit more bright uh, to match my eyeliner, but it's not too far off. It is a little bit darker. I'm going to put not maybe maybe not a full second coat, but just a little bit of touch up. I'm going to use this Project Beauty Spray Set and Go Makeup Setting Spray. I got this in a beauty box last month and if I remember correctly the sprayer might not be quite the best but we'll see here in a second it's not too bad all right I think I am done with my look so I'm gonna go ahead and call my husband and I will be right back is this a glam look I'm not gonna tell you what You're it is not gonna tell me what it is well, I see there's a lot of colors laying out. That would be very deceiving because what's on the table is not what I'm wearing. Oh. I put everything I'm wearing away. Huh. Well, that was tricky. Yes. You ready to see it? Yes, I am right, ready. All right, here I am. Oh, wow. It's very white. Or shiny. Are you supposed to be, uh, dewy? The foundation I'm using is an illumination foundation. Oh, you're illuminated. Yes, I am. And then the highlighter I put on was almost entirely glitter. Nice. The 
blush I put on had glitter. Nice. The bronzer or contour I put on had glitter. Nice. About the only thing that didn't have glitter was my eyes. And you decided to go? Hot pink. Hot pink. I don't know. I'm actually kind of liking the hot pink. I like eyeliner and I like very vivid eyeliners. I have just about every color eyeliner that you could possibly think of. Yeah. Almost. Maybe not brown. Oh, no. I did just get a brown. Did you line your lips? I did not line my lips. No. Okay. Can definitely, I mean, it does sort of match your eyelids. That's what I was going for. Well, you did it. Do you want to know what the, the name of this color is on my lips? Uh, sure. Why not? It's called Wednesday. 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 There you go. There you go. How about that? How about that? So. So what do you think? That's pretty cute. Other than the fact that I'm a very bright. Um, can you shut your eyes for a second? No, just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. you did something in the inner eye. Didn't no, I did not. No, okay, so that's just an absence that's causing that. Probably. Okay. I might have gotten some glitter there or some foundation there or something. Now, why did you go brown on top of the pink? That's sort of like... The interesting thing is, is that I used an eyeshadow that was actually purple. What? That's yes. A, that's not purple. Uh, I would agree, but when you look at it in the pan, it is purple. <sighs> you always yawn when you come I don't, up here. It's, it's the altitude. You said that before, and I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't care. Um, but yeah, the, the shadows, I actually used a, a trio of shadows that all were purples in varying shades. It went from light purple to dark purple. Yeah. And this is what like, I got. It looks like mud. It looks like brown. Yeah, it looks gold, brown. Gold, and it, 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 brown. they all melded together. Like, there's no variation. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I used three different colors of eyeshadow. Yeah. And um, I was going to keep going, and the fact that they all kind of went together, I was just... I, I just sort of gave up. Yeah, it's sort of like, like if you if you would have maybe gone with another pink or a, a light purple, one light purple, I think would have made it like pop. And I used a light purple all over the lid. Yeah. But it just turned brown. It turned into the. It just like sort of melted into the other colors. Hmm. Sorry. And that's okay. Sometimes shadows don't work out, and that specific palette just didn't work out for me. Yeah. It's all right. No, I like it. But what do you think? It's cute. This is my first time wearing this brand of lipstick. This is ColourPop lipstick, and it is ultra matte. Okay, yeah, I can so, see that. So, maybe just a smidgen of pink there. Mm -hmm. um, but it is very drying. That's what I've heard about this formula, is that it's very, very drying That's on the lips. That's what I was going to ask you. I mean, and my lips means... feel very dry right now. That just means you won't wear it. That just means you won't wear it. I mean, you don't like to wear. Yeah, it, I mean, it? I got this in a in a in a beauty box. Oh, I got, okay. I got all. Of, I have four of them now, and I've gotten all four different colors in beauty boxes. Okay. So I didn't. I didn't actually buy them. They're actually very inexpensive, though. I think they're like six dollars each. So. Okay. But it's okay. I mean, it's it's not horrible. I think I I don't think I would try to wear this as like an all day lipstick though because yeah. I literally put it on less than ten minutes ago and. Maybe yeah, 15 see, minutes ago, I can and see, it like, feels cracks very dry. I can see like cracks in your lips. Yeah. Forming yeah. from how that's how dry your lips are. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, what do you think though? You think I, it's okay? I, I, it's cute. I mean, I am very illuminated for sure. Right. I would definitely think that we were going somewhere. Yeah. If I saw you dressed like that or wearing this kind of makeup, I would think, okay, well, yeah, well, we're gonna try and act like we're in our 20s or something. And I ended up getting makeup all over my shirt. I'm sorry to hear that. Which, uh, I don't know if anybody noticed, I'm wearing a shirt with color in it instead of just a white shirt today. Uh, normally in my makeup videos, I do wear just white shirts because I end up getting makeup all over them and I don't wear them out anyway. I usually will change my shirt before I go out. But I think all you got is glitter. Uh, a lot of glitter. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so you'll get notified when I do upload new videos. And uh, if you have any comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. What do you think of this look? Did you ever use this eyeshadow before, the Graveyard Girl eyeshadow? Did you have the same problem? Do you know anybody who did? I'm very curious because... I don't know why my purple's turned brown. Uh, isn't, she for, isn't she from, like, Louisiana? Texas. Texas. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say, you know. You just think all of them will turn brown because they're from Louisiana? Yeah, well, you know, that's the swamp. 
Anyway, I hope you like this video, and we will see you next time on Epic Beauty Veil. Bye!